Writers, the next skill I want to review with you is maintaining your writer's notebook. So that means that you are going to be keeping a table of contents. So I want you to navigate to the table of contents section of your notebook. Again, it's very helpful to use the links on the cover page to the different sections. So here we are at the table of contents. And you'll notice that there's a space for you to write the date, there's a space for you to write the topic, and there's a space for you to write the page number. Now, this will help you if you need to go back to a lesson. Let's say you're starting to write and you're not sure where to start. You might look at, for example, a lesson that we did on, and I'm just going to throw out some hypothetical dates, on 9-24-20. And this particular lesson was about generating writing ideas. And you know that that information is on page... 10. Again, just an example of your notebook. So what I want you to do is practice, one, finding the table of contents section of your notebook, and two, writing down an entry in your table of contents. So each entry should have a date, it should have a topic, and it should have a page number. Now, really the big thing I'm expecting you to put here are um, information notes that you're taking from the lessons that we have. So the different strategies that you learn throughout the course of this year to help you become an excellent writer, you will record them here. So you can use them as a resource to help you through the writing process. So please take a few minutes and again, practice writing an entry in your table of contents. You can of course delete it when you're done because we do want to have actual factual information here, but experiment with writing something in.